wondering how you keep your business nimble and how that uh, lean business model might give you an advantage over your competitors that are bigger, maybe slower to adapt, slower to make changes. I think what you're asking is basically how, why we should keep our company really simple. It's because of that these days there's a lot of competition out there as well as technology, technology has been changing so fast. If we don't make our, keep our company really simple, um, it's really difficult to move around and be flexible and that, um, going after like you know our competitors. A lot of entrepreneurs talk about mentors they had in their career that helped shape their business or uh, the direction they want to take their company. Was there anyone for you at the beginning of your business or along in your career so far that helped guide you, that helped shape the business that you're building right now? I always had a mentor and that, um, many serious mentors, it's either it's going to be uh, formalized or unformalized. That since I started in the Kino University and graduated, I had somebody who was always giving us great guidance, including a professor to the you know the company I worked for, the senior VPs like you know that kept asking for that advice. Right now, that we actually do have a couple really close friends, but they've been really successful. That they are they don't have a time to solve the problem for us, but each time whenever whenever we have a questions, they point us the right direction so that we feel comfortable to like you know to say okay let's try this way to figure it out so it's great a mentorship that they would let us learn by ourselves not that they don't give a solution i'm wondering if you had a moment in growing sweet caesar when you realized you know you were really onto something or or what you were building you felt like you saw some real success um, I think it's just the moment that we start seeing the client keep keep coming back. Or as I mentioned, that we have no sales and marketing done or business development done. So if anybody comes to a website, everybody gonna think, what are you guys doing? But it's because we never need to update any website. Mm -hmm. But I think the moment we start seeing the, how quickly growth and be able to increase the employees, like you know, one by one, so every month, and we kind of start feeling goes well, you know that there's something we have that we'll be able to keep growing. And uh, it's really difficult to point it out because from the beginning we believe in ourselves. So we kind of knew it is coming, but I guess it's not the aha moment, but it's much more if that we feel much easier now than before. Okay, that's a, that's a good answer. And the last question I wanted to ask you was, uh, you know, you talked a little bit also about uh, how being an entrepreneur is a good fit for your personality, but it wasn't something you always thought that you were going to do. What's the uh, greatest lesson that being an entrepreneur has taught you? You know, it's really interesting because I, I guess I, was, I never really was interested in being entrepreneurs that, you know, there is kind of lonely moment, right? Because, I mean, I have a great employee and staff and a business partner has been great, but at the same time, like I'm myself, you know, that if I make a mistake or do something, if I lose a client, that's totally affect our bottom line of business. And so it just like, you know, I have, I'm really enjoying it, but I have no freedom to be honest. Like, you know, 24 seven, I'm thinking about like, you know, company and clients or as a staff and, I don't know, it's like, you know, I haven't really had a real vacation. Some people are really good at it, but you know, I can't stop thinking about it. And if I go somewhere, I keep checking the black and making sure that everybody's okay, server's not down, like if people's working, are they in the office, you know? I really have to uh, remove myself from that. So, but at the same time, it is like, you know, that challenge I'm facing right now, yeah.